Over the weekend, they announced their new candidate for Simcoe Gray. So we sent Mark Critch out there to visit the conservatives' former golden couple, Helena Georges and Raheem Jaffer. So there's been all kinds of allegations about you two, uh, all kinds of mean things said that weren't true, and a lot of really cruel jokes at your expense. And that was just me. <laughs> That's great. I'm going to go through some of the things that were said about you. It's a long list. Uh, lied about having an MBA. Yeah, no, I have an MBA. Okay. Kicked a security door at an airport. Uh, no, I did not. Threw a shoe at an Air Canada employee no. at an airport. <laughs> no, I did not. Not a real blonde. <laughs> yes, that's true. Finally. <laughs> Finally, Helena Georges is standing up and accepting some blame in all of this. All right, Raheem. Oh, oh Raheem. This is a bit long. Using Helena's office for business meetings. Oh, no, that was crazy. No, I didn't. Illegally worked as a lobbyist. No, didn't lobby. Saying you were an MP when you were no longer an MP. <laughs> no, everyone knew I was a loser. Conducting business at a strip club. <laughs> Yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. I, uh, I don't remember any of the girls' names if I was there, and I don't remember a strip club. I'm a little disappointed, actually. <laughs> Having busty hookers at a meeting. Yeah, I, I oh, that was... that was, was my meeting then, I suppose they were at. Oh, really? It was your meeting? Yes. I got you some business cards made up. You see? Here you go. It says, uh, Raheem Jaffer, a name you can trust. No charges since 2009. It's a fresh start. That's great. Have you ever thought about a reality show? Are you but here still, to make an offer for us? And I, I tell you, man, if you guys want to do a reality show, I'll quit this piece of poo in five seconds. I want to get involved with that. That's a winner. Stephen Harper, boom, just drops you like, 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 a, like a hot potato there. Uh, you lost your, your place as, as the Minister for Staffs of Women, uh, booted out of the caucus, never explained first or last to you why he didn't even uh, uh, talk to you about why he wasn't talking to you. Mm -hmm. I'm still open to sitting down and having that conversation, but... Even now? Even now! Even now! Hey, I take pride in being a forgiving person. <laughs> you had to move on, okay? And that's you what cannot... my community has been saying to don't me all you, summer. Don't you take that anymore. He is bad for you. Me. He's no good for you. You shouldn't be with him. I'm not talking about you now. <laughs> I've heard that before. You've heard that before, right? No, I'm going to point out, Raheem, it's not you. It's Stevie. No? I'll run as an independent conservative. See, now that's that. If you want to get back at Harper, that's the scariest thing, because there's no Nothing Harper is more scared of than an independent woman. And there you go. <laughs> so uh, now, I well learned said. that quick. There's been all this talk about you and, and the, the, the driving thing and everything. Would you take me once around a block in, a, in, a, in your vehicle? Sure. I want to see what it's like to drive with Raheem Jaffer for real. <laughs> there's, a, there's Coke in the car, Raheem. <laughs> Just kidding. That's just kidding. Funny. I'm kidding. I just noticed. I was like, Yeah. I'll just notice you. Once <laughs> I didn't. That's not, no, no. It's not. Now, you guys have really been vilified in the press, and I think Canadians need to realize that you're just regular people. You're just a couple of crazy kids in love. And there's no better way to show that than with a cheesy 80s montage. <laughs>